Hi guys, today we're going to make a simple pillow cover. So I've actually had a small pillow um, in my apartment, but usually you can just buy a filling, um, natural or polyester filling pillows online. The pillow itself is really soft, but the cover will give a little bit of a toughness. But first things first, I'm going to show you the rope that I'm going to use for this crochet. So this is actually my standard rope. Uh, I got that particular pack from Poland, but I also buy some of my ropes online on Etsy shop. Uh, that particular rope is cotton, it's 100 meters, uh, 100 meters long, and as you can see it has a polyester feeling. For this particular project we're going to use 200 meters of yarn. I'm also going to use a wooden hook. This one is 10 millimeters thick and it's pretty soft and comfortable to use. Now we're going to create a series of loops for the base of our crochet pattern. So firstly we're going to place the end of our rope on our two fingers. Then we're going to place our crochet hook under our first line of first loop and we're going to pull the second line inside. Once we've done that, we can take out the actual hook and um, tighten it up with our fingers, um, you know, just make sure it's tight enough as, you know, it's going to be the base um, of our entire crochet pattern. In order to create the entire pattern, we're going to create a series of loops from the long remaining rope. So let's make a chain. So we're pulling the rope inside our first loop and then we're doing basically repeating the same action. Pulling another bit for the second loop, then another for the third loop, etc. etc. There's no point really for me to tell you how many loops in this chain um, I did because it really depends on the size of the loops that you're making, but also, um, and most importantly, on the width of the pillow that you're going to cover, um, obviously with the crochet that we're making. So um, you would kind of need to, I don't know, make a couple of the loops and then um, kind of put it against the object that you're trying to cover and kind of see if it's you know if it's wide enough if it's going to cover the entire you know the entire object so i actually do the same um, i measure the base that I have against the width of the pillow that I have. This one looks pretty good, so it fits the pillow nicely. So um, I'm just gonna finish the base at this point. Let me just take out a little bit more um, of the rope from the yarn and we'll start making the second line of our um, crochet pattern. We have a series of loops and I'm going to place my crochet hook um, below the first kind of um, the first line as you can see in that in that empty space. Um, this is where I'm going to place my crochet hook every time I make a loop on top of um, you know on top of each chain. So you want to place the crochet hook into the first available loop, which is actually third one from the count. If you consider the first loop as the one where the crochet hook is placed in. Now you want to pull the rope through your first loop only and hold two loops on your crochet hook and now again you want to pull another piece of um, yarn through two of your loops. So this is basically the first stage of your pattern. So we're going to continue the same way, placing the crochet hook, pulling one rope inside, creating two loops, then pulling only through the first one, then again creating two and pulling through the two 
um, kind of the two loops. Sometimes if you don't make a opening big enough, um, you know, the rope can get a little bit tough, but you just have to pull it a little bit harder. And basically continue the same way. So, um, you know, I think if you if you kind of got the first stitch, the first kind of, you know, the first process, um, you know, then you will get the entire pattern and you will just, you'll be, you'll be able to make, um, you know, rugs, pillow covers, whatever you need. So let me speed the video up a little bit. And we're making the last stitch um, in our in our first um, first kind of line. As you can see, the entire uh, rope uh, kind of twisted or rolled up, which is which is normal due to a pressure we we are applying, um, you know, into the into the actual rope when we when we um, when we did a crochet. But you just you know you just have to straighten up. That's that's normal. So to make the second or the next row of our pattern, I just usually flip the entire um, the entire crochet. Now to start a next row, we're going to create an extra loop and we're going to pull it up. So this is going to be the first beginning loop into our um, second row. And basically we're going to use um, the top loops of our firstly created row of the patterns as the base to our second row of the pattern of the crochet. As you can see we have um, those loops at the um, at the top of uh, you know of our crochet of the pattern that we've made and we're pulling the rope through those loops. So for this entire cover, um, pillow cover, I'm going to use um, the double height, double height single stitch, I believe it's called, um, which obviously we did um, at the beginning as, of, as, as our first row. But um, here I'm going to show you just a standard, um, you know, just a standard single stitch. As simple as that, I'm placing the crochet hook through the loop, through the first loop, and I'm pulling the rope inside. And then instead of creating another set of loops, I'm just pulling the rope through the two available loops that we have on our crochet hook. So this is just an example. I mean, um, if you are just starting the crochet perhaps it's better for you to continue the entire pattern with the single with the single crochet um, but you know since we did the double height single crochet at the beginning as our first row to the entire pattern um, you know it's just probably it might be easier for you to continue with the same with the same stitch all the way up saying that take your time and um, you know the crochet is actually really relaxing and depending on the you know on the size of the pillow that you have i mean i have a square pillow approximately 30 centimeters wide so you know it means i have to create twice as long um twice as long pattern you know to cover the pillow all the way around so the actual dimension of my um crochet uh, it needs to be 30 by 60 centimeters, right? So that I can kind of wrap the pillow around. Surprise! So this is how the pattern uh, at this point looks like. As I said, I did use the double height single stitch as um, as I showed in the previous um, in the previous row of our crochet pattern. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to you know how to combine the two two yarns together um so we i already used 100 meters and i'm going to use another 100 meters of yarn and i'm um, you know i just i usually simply tie two ends 
um, into a knot. Obviously, I try to do it as neatly as possible so that the knot isn't big enough and it blends in nicely, um, you know, into their crochet um, crochet pattern. So our ropes are connected, and we simply, um, you know, we simply continuing with the pattern that we've started so the double height um, single um, stitch so again as you can see we have the knot uh, we have the knot that we created and we're kind of pulling the rope inside um, you know inside the loops and containing the same way we're pretty much done i mean this is the last bit um the, the the last bit of the yarn that we have unfortunately it's not long enough to create um the next row so um we're just going to close it at this point um so i usually just leave um you know cut the remaining part of the rope and just leave you know a little bit um a little bit of a rope to kind of tighten up and make a small knot at the end um, you know at the end of our pattern and then I just I try to kind of gently hide the remaining uh, remaining bit inside our actual crochet wow I mean this this pattern is actually very beautiful I mean I love crochet overall I think it makes such a beautiful bold statement um, you know when you try to design you know your apartment or give it as a gift whatsoever it's 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 really beautiful but getting back to our work so um obviously um you know you will try to uh to put the filling of your pillow inside the crochet um you've done so as you can see uh you know i have a pillow um that is 30 by 30 centimeters square pillow and um you know the the, um, the pattern the actual crochet cover fits my pillow very nicely so all we need to do is basically close the sides um of our you know of our crochet pillow cover and we're simply doing it by pulling the you know the remaining thread um you know through the kind of the ending bits um of our pattern so first things first um you know when when you start closing the sides of the of the pillow cover you want to make sure the knot the first knot that you're creating is uh, thick enough uh because i mean obviously considering that the rope is thick enough the the actual spaces or gaps in between the stitches are um, uh, pretty big so you want to make sure you know the actual um the first knot the first knot uh you know is not going just to um kind of go inside hide inside the the pattern so i don't i don't actually use any tools i just use my hands and the remaining rope um and uh, yeah just um i try to do the closing as neat as possible and um i i space it out evenly and uh um you know you also need to make sure it's it's basically tight enough <clears throat> but um other than that there is no specific calculations or patterns of of you know of where you need to place the rope to to close the sides That um so this is the actual um you know the final result um of our closing kind of pattern um so as you can see I mean it does look it does look neat it looks uh, you know very secure and uh, you know all you need to do is at the end basically cut off the remaining bit of rope and again tie up a knot uh, the knot at the end and try to uh, kind of hide hide that um, remaining piece of um, rope inside the inside the cover 
So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're gonna make a lot of beautiful, um, you know, crochet, rugs, pillow covers, clothing whatsoever. So if you did like it, make sure you stay in touch, make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you put a like at the end.